Hi, I'm Skylar. One of the best ways to learn the capabilities of your iPod Touch is to download lots of applications. Really, just download lots of free apps. And the one I recommend you start with is iBooks. Let me show you. So press your home button and slide to unlock. Your app store will be on the first page, right around here. I put mine in a folder. It looks like this. Open it up and tap search. This little field up here where it says search, you'll see your insertion point blinking. Type in iBooks. Tap search, and you'll get your results. If you tap on the picture, it takes you to a description of the application, and you can see screenshots of it. This helps you decide whether you want to download it. Down below is the description and what's new in this version. Below that is information. Who made it, when it was last updated, what version it is, the size. More information is down below. If you want to find out what other people think of it, tap Reviews. And you can see all the feedback that people have given about any particular application. Then you could go to Related. And this would show you other things by that same developer. I've already installed it, but you'll see Install right here. Tap it, and you'll be able to download iBooks. Once you've downloaded it, tap Open. Once you're here, in the upper right, tap Store. It looks very much like the App Store. Tap Search, and type in iPod. iPod Touch User Guide for iOS 6 is what you're looking for, so tap it. iPod Touch User Guide for iOS 6.1, tap on it in order to read it. Again, very similar to the description of the application, but this time we're talking about a book. Tap Free and tap Get Book. Type in your password and tap OK. The store will flip back around to your bookshelf and the book will begin to download. While it's downloading, let's check out some more of the basic features of your iPod Touch. My favorite is how the camera works. Press Home and now you're back to your home screen. You could access your camera by tapping on it, but one of the best ways, I think, to access the camera, because this is how it often happens, is that you pull out of your pocket and you press your home button, then you swipe up right here, and it takes you directly to your camera. Then, if you hold it like this, like you would hold just any other point-and-shoot compact camera, the volume up button right here will actually act as your shutter. So you point it at whatever you want, it focuses, and you click the Volume Up button. I love that feature. Another neat thing about it is that it focuses on faces when it recognizes them, and exposes for them, too. You'll see a little green box appear. There we go. That happens on iPod Touch 5th generation, because it's got a powerful enough processor to recognize a human face. Let's see if our user guide has downloaded yet. There we are, and we see that our iPod Touch user guide is finished downloading. Tap on it to open it, and it looks just like a book. It tells us some of the basic things about the iPod, like the sleep-wake button, where the microphone is, the LED flash, etc. And if you swipe your finger across the left, you'll see that you can turn pages. It shows you the accessories that came with it, like the loop, and explains the functions of the buttons. There's a lot of really, really good information in here. So while you may not be the type of person who likes to read a manual, I do recommend it because even I'm surprised by what's in here. And I learn new things when I read these manuals. Also, they're fairly short, and they're written in a very, very clear style. So I've shown you some of the very basic functions of an iPod Touch and shown you how to download an application 
and a book so that you can learn how to use the other functions of it. Up to you to explore. Thanks for watching. I'm Skylar.